Wow, horrible. Hi, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a makeup video after so long. A chit chat. Get ready with me after so long. Today, I'm going to catch you up on all the recent happenings in my life. Give you a complete life update of everything that has happened since the time I moved out of my parents' home and started living alone. It's been an experience. There's so much to talk and so much to share with y'all. And also to make it ultra special, I'm glamming up using all affordable makeup. Everything on my face right now is super affordable. It's also super new to. Me, we tried out a bunch of stuff today, mostly from NYB, Mars Cosmetics, and also Blur. So we have some makeup to try out. I have some mini reviews for y'all. So there's a lot happening in today's video. It's gonna be a long video, of course. The chit chat, get ready with me, is always long and therapeutic. So go grab your snack. But if this is the first time you've come onto my channel, then hi, I'm Sara. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube. I try to keep it super fun and relatable. So if this is the first time you've come here, take a moment and hit the subscribe button. Join the Sara Squad. I'm sure you'll have a great time here also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time i upload a video you get notified and with that let's dive straight into this all right my hair is tied at the back i'm wearing my fresh look gray lenses and i'm super ready to dive into all the new makeup i have over here so much of this makeup was actually sent to me or bought by me before i even moved in this space but we were so deep down into furniture shopping ki makeup is that i've only picked out all the affordable makeup like super affordable under 500 under 200 mostly makeup that I have here so you all will have a lot of budget options as well and we'll test the waters out as to what's good and what's not I'm gonna start with skin prep first I'm just using this Cosarex moisturizer that I'm currently loving this is the oil free ultra moisturizing lotion with birch sap so it's a really great moisturizer that it has like a sticky base to it so it allows the makeup to settle in as well my skin is super ungroomed I haven't done my eyebrows upper lips anything shaved my face also for such a long time that's just because I haven't gotten the time to you know even look at myself in the mirror and do something about myself and I did go to the salon to like get my nails done but I wasn't very comfortable getting upper lips or eyebrows because firstly I would have to remove my mask secondly the person would be too close to my face so that's like super high risk I did not want to take that risk Other my moisturizer is on I'm gonna go ahead with shaving my face for that I'm using this car messy face razor I've always been one to be shaving my face at home you have the luxury of choosing to do it whenever you want to like you don't have to particularly wait to go out additionally makeup just applies so much better when all of this peachy fuzz is off my face like look at the skin that's being revealed underneath all of the peachy fuzz that I had going on to shave my face I just take my one hand and exclude my sideburns and the hair root over here I don't like to shave my complete sideburns I like to keep the natural thing over there and whatever excess peachy fuzz I have over here that I like to shave off I'll hold the razor towards the outer one thirds and I'll keep it at an oblique angle to my skin and then just simply go in one two and three times and you'll see all of the peachy fuzz collect over here this razor is actually very beginner friendly because it has a very easy grip you have an angle to the head so with that angle it shaves really well and plus the blade is very sharp and nice also it has this zigzag blade appearance it's not straight like the other blades that you get in the market so you won't end up cutting yourself i've zoomed you all in to show you all how i do my brows and upper lips so for my brows i pull at an incline over here and then i will take the razor again at the same angle i'll come down and downwards motion and just define this area look how it gave that sharp one line as opposed to this and this pointed tip over here is really convenient because then here what I have is just one or two excess hair so I can just scrape it off like this instead of you know having to go like this for upper lips just follow the same technique as your beautician And all this talk and questions you get about your hair coming back thicker after you shave is all BS. I've been shaving my hair before I was 18 also. And only the hair that is supposed to come thicker, like you know my hormonal chin hair. Can you see this one hair I have on my chin? This is thick and this comes back fast because this is hormonal. So it all depends on your hormones. The only thing with the razor is that it cuts the shaft. It doesn't pull from the root the way waxing does. But waxing is a complete no-no. I cannot apply wax on my face and get that reaction. And the bumps on my skin cannot deal with. And I also feel like when you pull after waxing, you're just subjecting your skin to become loose over time. So why put yourself through all that when you can get a simple razor? It's super hygienic. 
you need to use as well because it's custom only to you. Wash it after use and it comes with a cap as well. So you can just put it in a cap and store it. And it's super affordable as well because the whole box of Carmesi face razors comes with three razors, which is for only $299. That is like 100 rupees for one razor. And they have a magic monsoon sale going on right now. So you get like 20% discount. And the bonus for you guys is that if you use my code, you'll get an additional discount. So that is the kind of math I don't even know how to do. I'm going to leave a link for this face razor in the description box for you. So don't forget to check it out. Gonna keep you guys zoomed in because I want to dive in with eye makeup first. I have a few new eye products from Mars Cosmetics that I want to try out. This is their 12 color butter eyeshadow palette and this is their fantasy 15 eyeshadow palette and I also have their eye glitter over here. So I want to try all of this and I don't know if there is fallout with these products. That's the reason why we'll first do our eye makeup. So I'm just going to prime my lid with the pack take cover concealer. I don't have any new concealer to try out so I'm just going in with my tried and trusted. As we do our makeup I wanted to chat with you all about all of the new things that have been happening with me of what it's been like living alone and you know doing all of the adulting stuff stuff which I know looks so green and so nice from the outside and maybe a part of it actually is but that part I haven't gotten to experience just yet. The initial days of living alone can get very lonely especially for a person like me who's always used to having people around because I'm a very social person even if my family is not over I have Chotu at home so there's some human always in my house I'm never really alone and when my daddy's also there she's like always there right so I don't have a complete empty house to myself so initially though I was thinking thinking what do I do in this space I was just hopping from one room to the other to just get a change of place and try to utilize all the space I have in the house all to myself and as luxurious as it might sound to somebody who does not like having people around but somebody like me who likes having people around it was a little off I'm gonna begin with the Mars 15 fantasy eyeshadow palette because I think this palette has only glitters in it so I'm not interested in that as of now. I want some matte eyeshadow. It has a combination of browns, mauves. It has a very nice combination actually. I'll start with this orange burnt shade over here. Taking it on my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush. Initially when I moved also when I was just moving my stuff up and down from my parents home to my home. It was very rough on Fudge because he was not understanding for context. Fudge is my dog for all of y'all who don't know. He was very anxious as to what is happening. Because of course you cannot prepare a dog mentally for this kind of a change. And that is the major reason why I wanted to be in the same building as my parents. Because this makes it very convenient for him to not feel like he's been completely detached from his social circle. If I am feeling so lonely just being in this house alone, he might feel very lonely. Because again, Fudge is somebody who cannot stay without human contact whatsoever. He needs people at all points of time, especially my family. He's very attached to all of them and all of us in general. So every time I would move my stuff and Fudge would know that I'm coming on top only because to show him that this is going to be your new house and you have to get used to this space. So once he would know I've left the house with Saman, he knew I'm coming here. So he was just like, take me up, take me up, take me up, you know, somebody take me up. And when we were painting this house and all, he would come up with my parents because he would just want to leave that house and see where I am. So he's very like, even though he's attached to my parents, he's very attached to me. Like he's like my pet. He's at my hip all the time. And in the initial days of living here alone, from the day that I moved in completely, uh, Fudge was attached to my hip. Like literally, he did not want to let go because he was not very sure of the layout of the house. So every door that I would close, he would feel that I will get out of the house and leave him alone. There is no one else to live with him. There was a small one with him. So that kind of anxiety was really bothering me to look at him. You know, when you see your own child in distress, it's very difficult to look at. So that was the kind of situation that was happening there. And I was very worried that it's going to take him a while to get used to this. He's not going to be soon. And I have to live for a long time at home to, you know, get him used to this situation but within like I think a couple of days I would just say like two days he got used to the layout of the house and once he knew ke kaun sa room kidar hai mujhe kahan ja ke susu karna hai aur mujhe kahan ja ke sona hai mom kahan ja ke soegi kahan ja ke kaam karegi once he was used to that then he was a breeze then it was like okay you know you can go and pee in peace I will not follow you so otherwise he was following me to the bathroom also he was like I will come with you to the bathroom I will sit with you outside the bathroom honestly I was just constantly telling myself that you have to get used to this fast start working from this fast I was like 
कि जितना मैं डिले करूंगी शूट करने ये जगह में उतना मेरा पैसा वेस्ट हो रहा है यू नो बिकॉज आई एम पेइंग रेंट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई हैव एंड पेड रेंट एवर सो आई एम जस्ट फीलिंग आई हैव टू डू फास्ट आई हैव टू डू इट फास्ट आई हैव टू गेट एवरीथिंग सेट अप फास्ट व्हिच इज व्हाई विद इन अ मंथ ऑफ रेंटिंग दिस होम आई मेड श्योर एवरीथिंग सेट अप एंड यू ऑल हैव सीन द रूम टूर एंड द होम टूर एंड एवरीथिंग आई नो होम टूर इज स्टिल पेंडिंग इट विल बी अप एंड यू नो आई वांट टू मेक दिस फंक्शनल एएसएपी बिकॉज आई डोंट वांट टू लूज आउट ऑन टाइम और मनी but then it took me a lot of convincing myself to tell myself that this is not a competition you cannot push yourself and put yourself in a new routine so fast especially because i had just graduated college had also just ended and i just i'm getting used to not having a day job i've always had a day job for four and a half years i've woken up at 7 o'clock in the morning gotten ready and gone to college so even in the pandemic i was working and going to college only in the first wave ka you know first three months we did not go to college so apart from that for four and a half years i had a routine and that routine was also disrupted and i was in a new space so i had to give myself the benefit of doubt ke sara you're in a new place new environment getting used to a completely new life and stop being so hard on yourself and telling yourself you're losing money cuz you're not and you know you'll get used to it so yeah that kind of convincing that i needed was important i had to convince myself first and then when i was a little more mentally stable i think fudge just palpated of that energy dogs are so smart these guys are like insanely smart they just know when you're not feeling okay and they feel that they are also in danger because of that but once i was mentally better he also started feeling better so this eye shadows by the way are super pigmented i'm very impressed like i mean i did not expect the mats to be blending so well can you see how well the browns are blending i'm super super impressed i'm going to go in with a color shade i think i'll take the purple all over the layer do i do the lime green i think i'm going to do the lime green so woo dude wow dude i'm impressed damn for all of you who are fairly new year or you know even in the past one year i haven't spoken much about my health issues on this channel because alhamdulillah touch wood touch wood my health has been very good since the past one year but that was not always the case i've had like the most health issues ever in my young teenage phase like i was diagnosed with fibromyalgia which is a neuromusculoskeletal disorder so it was triggered during my entrance exam during my medical entrance and the treatment went on for like almost 2 and a half years then when i recovered from that then i got my acl surgery done that is the ligament in the knee was injured so i had to go and get that repair done so my health has been all over the place in the past couple of years i used to not vlog before so none of that is in any of the vlogs on my channel but here and there i used to speak about it in videos when i was having bad health and i did end up taking a 6 month break from youtube also once because of it and now with fibromyalgia the case is that a new situation a new environment or any sort of a new stressor can trigger it very easily So when I moved over here initially I started with this backache issue and it was not fibro type like fibromyalgia gives you these attacks like you know you get this pain attack that your skin and your body becomes so sensitive to pain that even a touch would feel like it's a holic is for knife is piercing to your skin so that's the kind of pain you will feel when you are in that attack phase when your nerves are super sensitive but that is not what was happening when i moved in but i was having severe backache like severe backache and what i noticed was it was when i used to wake up so what was happening is the mattress in this bedroom the bed i did not buy a new bed for this house i was using the same bed that came in the bedroom so the bed was actually short for me and so was the mattress and that was causing me a lot of pain because my legs used to hang down and because my feet was exceeding the bed all night uh, it started giving me severe low back ache because i was very scared that is this fibro again you know i don't want to go through that pain all over again don't want to trigger that entire phase of my life and i take great deal of my care because i've been through that shit in life so one day the pain was so bad that i could not work out like i gave up mid workout i told my trainer i cannot do any more cuz my back was paining that that much and uh, that is when i just went to my parents home and slept on my old bed and within 2 hours of sleeping on my old bed my back just fixed itself the spasms just got released and my muscles relaxed and i felt so much better and after that i told my mom nothing doing please take this mattress and send it on top i cannot sleep on that mattress so once i switched out my mattress it became super convenient for me but the first one week i was in terrible both mental as well as physical pain and the first one week was really really rough on me 
and uh, thankfully thank you god and my fibromyalgia hasn't been triggered so i'm grateful for that as well because that's a phase of my life i would not want to relive and you start adulting now like the smallest of things make you so happy like the geyser over here in this house was also not heating enough and i am used to having a boiler in my parents home so boilers are basically where you keep them on for like 5 10 minutes or fir garam pani aata hai so it's not like a geyser that's instant heating this geyser was so inefficient Like within five minutes, ठंडा पानी आता था and मेरे को इतना backache हो रहा है और गर्म पानी का relief भी नहीं मिल रहा है so I was just wondering what do I do what do I do and then finally I called the electrician and I was like please change the geyser uh, so he bought a fresh new three liter का geyser and that made me so happy उस दिन नहाने का अलग ही मजा आया था तो अब जाके adulting में तुम अलग ही चीजों से खुश होने लगते हो like makeup करके जो खुशी मिल रही है ना अभी वो तो मैं भूल ही गई थी कैसा feel होता है like this is actually the Mars precision brow pencil it's a little waxy but it did the job really well my eyeliner i'm using the mars cosmetics liner only and this one i genuinely really like this eyeliner i've been using for a while so it's not a first impression it's very pigmented and the wing you get with it is also very nice and sharp because the felt tip is very easy to work with the little glitter i have on my face i'm just cleaning it away with cotton and micellar water the one i'm using is by plum so for primer i have two options mars sent me their pore cure primer which is a pore filling primer and i bought this on purple this is the nyb brightening primer that gives you instant glow blends like a dream and it's hydrating so i will first use the pore filling primer by mars okay it has a clear silicone thing texture to it it has a fragrance to it a mild like a rose sort of a tint and it has a blurring effect on my pores so if you're suffering from large pores or oily skin this would be perfect for you this is also a clear primer but it's supposed to be hydrating and not blurring but it has a tacky finish to it so i'm guessing my makeup should sit well and not slip and slide but the actual test of the primer will be once i put on my foundation and for that i'm using my personal affordable cheap favorite that has to be the ny base stick foundation i have the shade almond so so difficult to get your shade right when you have these affordable foundations and the coverage is also pretty damn good the formula is super identical to my absolute favorite sugar stick foundation it might look like i'm using a lot of product but that's because the stick is small so ek shot mein kafi kuch apply nahi hota hai for blending i'm using my mars sponge this is also something that i already use and love this foundation blends like a dream ah matlab i'm honestly this is my favorite favorite product from nyb just for the diversity in shades that they have i mean they don't have a lot of shades also but in that price category they are still doing the best job they can i also have this bb cream from mars or uh, this is in the shade medium which i'm very sure is super light for me it's not my exact skin tone you can see the color difference so i'm using it in the spots i would use my concealer the shade diversity in the complexion products is not the best i've honestly not tried the formula also this is my first time trying or applying this bb cream to my face i'm not liking it super light dude it's what is the shade medium medium ke hisab se it's very light yaar this is so the undertone is so off and bb cream ka coverage to sheer hota hai na so this is not sheer at all okay this is messing up my makeup and how i'm just going to wipe this off not looking good at all and it's not bb cream coverage it's like almost it has a paint like consistency i'm going to chuck loads of my nyb foundation and do that step again Taking my pack take cover concealer in the usual spot. Let me know whatever is the new makeup that has launched and you all want me to try it out because it's been such a long time. I've even checked any of the makeup websites. Sometimes I just think about college and I miss it so much. Like it's not even funny how much I miss college. I miss meeting my friends every day, having that social interaction. You know, because even in the pandemic when everyone was not able to go out, at least I was so grateful I had. somewhere to go even if it was the hospital the most sad place in the world it was happy because my friends were there and we had a gala time like our internship was amazing it was filled with difficulties because we were the first batch of pandemic internship ever and uh, it was of course came with its own set of challenges but we all faced it so well all of us as a batch and i miss my friends and seeing their faces during lunch break <sighs> really that 
normalcy that college life gives you you can never replace it like when people tell me i've just dropped out of college i'm like how you're missing out on the best parts of your life the best days of learning you know there's so much more than just a, a degree that your college gives you it gives you discipline some people find love you make the best of friends over there it makes you discover so many things about yourself you learn things that you like you don't like it's the days you're growing up and you're growing up with probably the best people of your life these people will always be there with you trust me for powder i'm using this one by mars cosmetics this is their banana powder the powder in itself is great in formula it sets your makeup in place it is not super yellow undertone as well so a lot of skin tones can use it if you have a yellow undertone it will set your eye makeup really well and just brighten that area another life lesson i learned by moving out early at an early age is a lot of contacts that i've developed like not just through my family of course my family has a lot of contacts because we've lived in the area for years on end but also through my friends like you know anything i needed i had to make contacts so now i have my go to electrician i have my go to plumber for everything i have a person who i call immediately when there's an issue circuit एक काम कर दे नो मी लाइक आई एम द पर्सन इन चार्ज फर्स्ट इट यूज टू बी लाइक माई पेरेंट्स वुड नो दैम एंड असाइन दैम एंड आई वुड जस्ट मेक श्योर द वर्क इज डन इफ आई एम एट होम और इफ आई एम नॉट एट होम आई वुड जस्ट टेल छोटो टू डू इट यू नो समथिंग लाइक दैट बट यहाँ पे यू आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एवरी थिंग यू द पीपल नो यू द पीपल विल गेट द वर्क डन बिकॉज दे यू टोल्ड दैम यू हैव टू पे दैम एंड यू आर द मैम यू नो यू आर द मैम हो यर सो यू हैव टू गेट शिट डन यू आर जस्ट मूविंग आउट फॉर योर स्टडीज और समथिंग एंड यू आर मूविंग टू अर न्यू सिटी जस्ट मेक श्योर यू हैव दीज बेस से गो टू कॉन्टैक्ट बिकॉज ये सब की तो जरूरत डेफिनेटली पड़ती रहती है यू विल नीड दीज कॉन्टैक्ट बिकॉज कुछ ना कुछ हर दूसरे दिन खराब होते ही रहता है यूजिंग कलप ऑफ ब्रॉन्जर अगेन बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव एनी न्यू ब्रॉन्जर टू ट्राई आउट blush i'm using this by sugar this is the contour de force mini blush in pink pinnacle it's not new to me i have of course used it before but it's super affordable so i thought i'll use this for today's video it is a nice pink tone so it does complement my eye makeup really well i have this new highlighter from mars this is the brick highlighter by them it's like a shimmery brick sort of and it has rose gold champagne shades i'm going to mix all of the shades and see how it Applies on the skin. Oh, 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 dude, that is a lot of highlight. In fact, it's super blingy. It is very, very smooth. Dude, it's so blingy, and it's not emphasizing any texture. Dude, I've not played in makeup in so long. I missed this too much. I missed this a lot. It's a very nice highlight. Very nice. It's not emphasizing any texture as well. just gives you that wet sort of a look i like that quite a lot for my lower lash i'm just going in back again with this dark brown color that we used on the outer corner and i'm just going to place it on the lower lash line to add some depth and complete the eye look you know another thing that has really been hitting me and has been something that's been on my mind lately is the fact that i don't have a car anymore i really miss my car dude like even in the pandemic i used to go on drives alone at night like i was of course working so i used to go in the day also i was driving 44 kilometers a day to the hospital and back and my car was my best friend at the time like i was spending so much time in my car just jamming to music and being stuck in traffic come rain come shine that car was with me and the gearbox got spoiled because of how rash a driver i am at times uh, but it was a very old car it was i think a 2010 ka model aur humne second hand li thi i've been driving it from the first day that we bought the car i was so attached to that car especially in my internship i got super close to it and in the pandemic i used to go on these night drives um late at night and i miss that too much like too too much because right now there's no social interaction also and even if i just want to go on a drive alone just by myself i cannot because i don't have my car and i didn't even get a chance to say bye to my car because my dad sold it super fast like last minute usko garage mein dekhi thi and uh, jesse like my dad got a buyer he sold it my dad is very fast when it comes to all this like we've bought and sold cars so fast in our lives like multiple cars we've had on multiple occasions but just this particular one i was emotionally attached to cuz i drove it the most i learned driving on the car before this that we had which was the zenestilo 
बट आई वॉज नॉट अटैच टू इट बिकॉज वो काफ़ी मतलब मेरे को बिल्कुल अच्छी नहीं लगती थी वो गाड़ी ऐसा ट्रक के जैसी चलती थी वो और मुझे बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं थी बट दिस कार आई वॉज वेरी वेरी अटैच टू एंड आई मिस इट टू मच ओनली आई एम जस्ट सैड आई डेंट गेट टू से बाय ऑल्सो देर वॉज द फर्स्ट कार आई पुट द डॉक्टर लोगो ऑल्सो एंड आई डोंट इवन नो वेन आई बी एबल टू अफोर्ड टू गेट माई ओन कार अगेन बिकॉज राइट नाउ आई जेनुनली कैन नॉट बट आई मिस हैविंग जस्ट हैविंग अ कार लाइक माई डैड हैज अ कार दैट आई कैन टेक but he doesn't let me <laughs> it's a suv and uh, he is very attached to his car so he will not let me take it i'm using the ny bay kajal for my lower lash this kajal is very very good dupe for the mac cole it's really that good it glides on super easy and also stays in place very pigmented it's the big apple of the eye for mascara i have two new options i have the blur i tend to lash out mascara and i have the mars cosmetics mascara now this one i've tried and i'm not a very big fan of this because it's not that volumizing or lengthening it doesn't do much to your lashes this is my first try of the blur one let's try this out and see if this does anything it smells disgusting oh my god what is the smell ew dude i can't apply this to my eyes it smells horrible dude and i don't even think it did anything like it did absolutely nothing i'm going to go in with my maybelline falsies mascara i love this mascara too much like this is my go to mascara at this point it is waterproof so you will have a tough time to remove it but it's bomb already i added some earrings these are by julish kids on instagram page and i'm going to set my face with the lasting fix by maybelline this fixing mist is super affordable as well and it's very very nice i'm going to pick up any excess product with my sponge for lipsticks i have so many options i have all the mars lip crayon colors like almost everything i also have these liquid lipsticks from blur cosmetics that say call me daddy and i have liquid lipsticks from ny bay that i ordered myself and i have a argan oil lippy from ny bay as well so i have so many options but i'm really liking the color on this one which is a deep red i think it will tie the whole makeup look really well together and the shade number is elv 34 louise's elv 34 so i'm going to use this and see how it looks oh it's a deep crimson color looks super stunning dude i love it i'm not feeling the open hair with this makeup look i'll go for a year covered low ponytail this looks so much sleek should i pull some hair out All right so this is the super glam makeup look that I've done using only affordable makeup everything was super affordable tried out so many new things and almost liked everything apart from the Mars BB cream yeah i think everything was super good this lipstick is the star of the show i mean the formula is super comfortable as well and i think the eyeshadow palette did a bomb job as well the eye look looks super sleek so these two products are definitely the star of the show for me today and the foundation of course is an old school favorite for me so i hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me i also caught you up on all of the new happenings in my life it's been an adventure living alone and learning so many new things and i'm sure i'm going to keep on learning as we go along every new day i learn something new about myself and majorly of all i think the lessons i'm learning patience to take it one day at a time this is a motto i follow for most of the things in my life to just take it easy take it one day at a time and slow and steady we'll build the game up so i'm so glad i could catch you up on everything that's been happening if you like today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up i'm going to leave all the links for everything in the description box also don't forget to check out the carmesi razors for today's video the sara sport shout out goes to samia nishad thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sara sport shout out you know what to do hit that subscribe button the bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag sarah squad and you get a chance to be a part of my next video sarah squad shout out i will see you guys very soon in another video bye guys love you Mwah.